Well, I got into music by accident, really, because a friend of mine bought me the ukulele for Christmas, and I used to do acting, but um, basically I had an audition and they asked me if I played a musical instrument, so I lied and told them that I played the ukulele, and I, yeah, just had to sit down and watch YouTube tutorials until I could play, and then when I started playing and singing, I started writing songs and it just kind of took over my life. I like you. Um, uh, my musical influences, uh, they're quite eclectic, I mean, I really love old school jazz like Jelly Roll Morton, uh, I love Django Reinhardt as well, I love like the energy of Gypsy Jazz um, and I love you know reggae and old standards and but I love kind of contemporary stuff like dubstep and house and techno as well so just a whole range of things I just like anything that's kind of progressive um, and that's what I look to do in my music. I like you. Yeah, I was in a band for a little bit. Um, basically, when I got out of drama school, because um, they were always saying to like giving me singing parts, which at the time was quite annoying because I really wanted to do acting. Um, but obviously, it's because I was much better at singing than acting. Um, and yeah, I, I sort of uh, got together with a guitarist and started writing songs with him. Um, but it wasn't a great experience being in a band. It, it really put me off actually doing music. Um, I mean, it was it was just very stressful being in a band. I like you. This really, you know, getting to record my material and. Um, yeah, it's just really rewarding to be able to come to a studio, record a song that you've written and get it exactly the way you want it. So this is a big highlight for me and a big milestone in my career. Yeah, I bought my mum um, Chuck Berry's Greatest Hits when I was about six or seven for her birthday. Um, yeah, I've always loved Chuck Berry and Fats Domino and the Beatles. I had this old tape and I had a car. Like when I like my car was literally like a canton with a tape player. And I listened to this tape like over and over again. But yeah, I love like the Beatles and all that stuff. I like you Just get on with it. Don't don't you know make any excuses of I've got to do this or I've got to do that. If you've if you've got a song that you want to write, just sit down and write it. Just every day work on that song until it's written. And play gigs, play as many gigs as you can. And play your songs to people like your friends and family who you'd be, you know, they're the last people you would ever want. You know, you feel so embarrassed playing a song because it's such a personal thing in front of someone who's your family. But once you get over that, you can play to anyone. And just be proactive and don't take no for an answer.